What's going on guys? Awesome Samantha coming at you with another video. And today I'll be teaching you guys how to make your own, your very own resource pack for Minecraft. So I'll be teaching you guys how to make a 1.11 pack, but it also works for 1.12 as far as I know. And, uh, yeah. So first, if you have Windows 10, you can go down the little search bar down here. My recording doesn't cover that. You go in there and you type in percent app data percent, just as if you were looking or you were trying to install mods. And you go to your .minecraft folder and you scroll down to your versions. And I'll be showing you guys how to do it for 1.11.2, but it's pretty much the same for 1.12. So you go into your 1.11.2 folder and then you see this jar file. Uh, I like to use a program called 7-Zip. You just need some kind of zipping program to use my method. But yeah, you just come over here and extract, extract files. And I'm gonna, what the heck? Um, there's a certain folder I would like to put it in on my desktop. You can exp extract it to any folder you want. I already made a folder for this resource pack. And then you press OK and you wait for it all to extract. If you go over to this folder, this is the where I'm going to put it all as soon as it extracts. As you can see, it's extracting it all here right now. Oh, oh you, you are not going to need all these dot class files. All we really need is the assets folder, which contains all the textures for Minecraft. I'm going to cut to whenever this finishes, and I'll see you guys then. Okay, everything's done extracting, so we... What the heck? Okay, we don't really need most of these files, so we can control A and select everything and unselect that and delete these all of these. Might take oh it's gonna take a while because it has to delete three thousand items. Yeah, so cut back whenever that's done. <laughs> now you go into your assets folder into the Minecraft folder. Come on. And then these are all the things you can edit in a resource pack. So most of these, uh, you don't really need to worry about. Like a lot of these, you need knowledge of programming to know how to do. But uh, some easy, easier things to edit are text and textures. So first, if you want it, text would be the credits, the end. So that's like the poem you get after you the Ender Dragon and the splashes. I'll just edit some of these quickly. Um, in later versions, it all, like, it shows like this whenever you're doing it, so I think the easiest thing to do is to just delete all this. It will still work if you just do it the right way. So I'm going to change this to say, uh, this was all made by, by Samantha. Okay, now we're going to save that. And get change the poem so it's short. Me, the end. Okay. And then splashes are also fun. So these are all the things you will see whenever you are starting Minecraft. These are cool because you can also change the color of these. So I'm going to delete all of these. And I have a little guide I like to use whenever I um, make these things so uh, I, I don't I, I don't know I just copy and paste a lot of these things into these I, I watched a video a long time ago to figure out how to do it I bet if you looked up like how to get color text in Minecraft you could easily find this so I'm going to copy and paste will make splash red so you're gonna copy 
paste that and we will make it say this is a tutorial pack and save that so there we edit all the texts and now we can go into the textures there's a lot of different textures that you can change so blocks pretty self-explanatory all the different blocks here and you can change those uh, color map so this this is how like the grass is co colored so you can just make the grass any color you want depending on the biome effect I don't really know what that is um, entity these are all pretty much all the different entities in the game um, environment yeah <laughs> font. I don't know. Font is weird. I wouldn't recommend messing with all the different fonts. GUI. These are all the different GUIs in the game. Items. <laughs> the map. Whoops. <laughs> the map. You can change all the different icons and what the map looks like. And then know random things I'll try to mess with a few of these most of these are pretty self-explanatory so first I'm gonna edit a block um, we will edit what should we edit we will edit coal or whoops so you need a, a program which can edit edit these so I like to use GIMP. GIMP is pretty much Photoshop, except it's free, which is nice. So as soon as we wait for GIMP to launch, might take a minute. Please, please launch. Please. Okay, then I'm gonna zoom in really big. And I am going to make all this purple because purple is a nice color yeah just change all the different little coal patches make them look pretty doot 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 then whenever you're done file export oh Make sure that whenever you do like any of these pictures for Minecraft, use a .png. That will just make life so much easier. Cause my my I don't know, Minecraft I don't think knows how to read. I don't think it knows how to read JPEG files. So just rule of thumb, use PNGs. Color map not really gonna mess with that because that will take a while. Um, I can make the sun. Whoops. Open that with GIMP. Make the sun. Make it red. Not that big. Oops. Getting closer. Yeah, I'll just doot, doot. Doot, doot. Export that and replace it. And then discard. What else can we edit? Uh, let's. Yeah, that'll be fine. So then we come back here and now we need to add a few things to the pack first you need to open up a you need to make a new text document don't rename it just yet go into it and copy and paste whoops I sorry about that I accidentally got rid of the thing I wanted to paste you need to uh, paste this in this pack format 3 is important depending on the version of Minecraft you want to make the pack for that this needs to be a different number if you go to the Minecraft wiki I know there's a guide to which pack format you need to use and then this uh, 
This is just a description for your pack, so we'll put this as Samantha's pack, so whenever you are selecting it in the, the thingy, and then you need to save this, and then this, we need to ch change it to say pack.mcmeta, and then do that. Uh, Windows will tell you that, are you sure you want to do this? I won't be able to read it, and you change it. Because this is what makes Minecraft be able to read this as a texture pack. And then uh, for the image, you need to... Uh, I'm going to just use this quickly. Command C. And paste that. Why does it say, say that? I don't know. And now Minecraft will see. And now we need to zip all this up. And 7-zip. Add to archive. And we will call it uh, tutorial pack dot zip. Not zippy, zip. Okay, and then it'll take a minute. And boom, we have our resource pack. So now we copy this. And then you need to go back to the percentage of data percentage to your roaming file and to Minecraft. Now you go to your resource packs and paste it in. And now, now that we're all done with this, we can launch Minecraft. Make sure it's in the correct version. Well, it doesn't need to be in the correct version. It just needs to use the same pack format. But this is an 1.11.2 pack, so it will work best. Ooh, it's going to take a lot of load. I'll be right... Oh, wait. Maybe not. Okay. So now we will wait for it to load. Don't care. I don't think my Minecraft is sized correctly. Okay. Now that we have this all loaded, I need to actually load my resource pack. Wait, what? Did it not work? Sorry about, about that. Apparently what I put, put into the MC meta file was incorrect. So now we can turn on the resource pack. And now it's not going to do the this custom splashes until you relaunch Minecraft. So I'm going to relaunch it. And then, whoops. Okay. There we go. And now, as you can see, that's our custom splash. I, I'm not sure why it does this thing. It only does this for, like, the first splash you put in the list. Other than that, it should work fine. So I already have a world that I use for testing resource packs. So I'm going to go into there. I'll put the correct thing to put into the MC meta file in the description. It has to load the world quickly, please. Okay, so what the heck? Okay, so if I turn the time today, time set 1000, you can see the sun. Since the sun has a yellow tint or a white tint, it has made this the red sun pink. Hi. You were giving me like a weird eyebrow. Okay. So now what did we edit? We edited coal, didn't we? Yes. So now we can put our coal ore down. Hello. Game. Well, as you can see in our hand, and on the ground over here, it is purple. I'm not sure why Minecraft is not letting me place or destroy blocks, even though I am in creative. Oh, wait. I don't know. I think I messed up the world border on this world at one point. Whatever. <laughs> and now it's not letting me place stuff. Okay. Whatever. And then we c I think I have an end portal somewhere around here that I can go into. 
and we can see the changes we made in the end. Hello. If I can't find it, then I will make a new world. Oh, there it is. And load up. Okay. I forgot I haven't. I haven't killed the dragon yet. One sec, let me And I've killed the ender dragon. And now the portal will open up, and this should take us to see the little story that I have changed. Hopefully. After it gets through the whole Minecraft logo. <laughs> Man, I forgot how slow this thing is. If you want to see the whole story, I have a video on my channel about it. Go check it out. <laughs> Gotta put in that plug for the end. Yes. You can also change the color, but you know what? I am lazy. This was all made by Samantha. Yes, it was. So, yeah. Point is, you can do a lot of things with the research... <sighs> resource packs. I cannot talk today. And I have just showed off a few of the smaller things. You can also make 3D models with them, as you've probably seen in some better resource packs than what I could make. <laughs> and you can... Yeah. There's a little bit of coding you can do with them to make it really awesome. But... Yeah, that's it for today, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe down below. And tune in next time for another video. And I will see you all next time. Bye!